um, if you have it, you play cricket. Do you often do you play golf after you can train? Uh, yeah, and I struggle. Yeah, but I don't do the way around. Yeah, yeah. I like golf and then play cricket. Because how, in relation to golf, how heavy does the back feel? Does that feel much lighter? If you don't then go and practice, oh sorry, you, you, you train in the morning, if you go play golf, does that feel much lighter? Yeah. Is that what you have trouble with? And I, 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 have, tr I have trouble with taking too much dirt. Yeah. And pushing the drive. Yeah. yeah, but because cricket's all forward, and it's just yeah. like golf has to do the other way. Yeah. And that's where I. It takes me about two or three hours to get going. Yeah. And then I'm all right. No, I can see that because uh, you know you think that it's a kind of a similar action, but the amount of cr uh, cricket I teach, is not the level that Darren is, but the amount of times I teach, what they struggle with is the concept. I, th I don't know if this is true, Darren, but the concept of sending the club head out to the right, to kind of draw it. But then releasing the club, so the face starts to point over there. And I think it's because in cricket, you, you, you're always trying to keep the, you're always trying to keep the, the largest surface area of the bat going through. And I think that's why cricket struggles with the fact that you kind of have to release a golf club. Do you, you ever release the bat in cricket? Uh, do you know what I mean? Like, does the bat ever do that in cricket? Yeah, corner quite a lot. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay, quite like, quite just going over that way. Yeah. Because all the cricket I teach, if I say right, send the club out right, it goes that way. It's too big, it's too big. That's like, um... You should be able to hit this draw pretty easily. Draw? Yeah, go on. So I aim at the one fifty. Yeah. That's how you should hit your drive like that. Really? Yeah. yeah. Forget trying to hit it left and play it. That's not, if, you, if you're going to play cricket like that, 90% of the time, that's how you should hit your drive. That's a mile. That's a mile. It's gone 302 yards then. Uphill. <laughs> Saying instead of trying to hit it like that, so it actually force yourself to try and hit it like Absolutely. that. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think so. Especially if you're somebody that pulls it back or slices it, you've got to get that release of the club. You've got to get the club releasing. That's why I think, especially for like, you just the last two. I also think it's easier to hit a shape of shot. You know, I said one shape of shot, you hit straight. That's so difficult to hit straight. I mean, that really is difficult. So you reckon I just keep lining up right? So I think ever so slightly right and get the feeling of, of that kind of just that release just to hit a soft draw. Yeah. 